What's up, Teacup Gang? Welcome back to another episode of Travel with Tea. So if you guys seen part one of the vlog, I tapped into St. Bart's and St. Martin, and this is part two where we're gonna be getting into Anguilla and diving into St. Bart's just a little bit more. Um, right now, I'm heading on a helicopter to go to Anguilla. So Anguilla is like a 15 minute heli ride from St. Bart's. You can also take a ferry. It would take probably like an hour to get there. I use the West Indy helicopter um, tours and I definitely highly recommend them. <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm terrified of heights. In my last travel vlog to Hawaii, I did a helicopter ride with no doors, but this was nothing compared to that. Like it was easy, I was in the back and I love a helicopter ride because like you get the full POV, like stunning a bird's eye view um, of the islands, which is like why I love getting on helicopters, but also it's just fast and convenient. I mean, look at St. Bart's from the top. Are you kidding me? And just over there where I'm pointing is St. Martin. And that's what that's where we went on the first um, vlog. And it was just super cute. I definitely recommend going there. Um, but yeah, so that's St. Martin. As you can see, it's like very like mountain, mountainous, very hilly. And then this is Anguilla. It's like extremely flat. Like there's no mountains and it seems a lot smaller. Um, but yeah, I'm totally excited to share what we did um, in Anguilla. So it was a little rainy and gloomy, but I didn't really have like a super crazy itinerary for Anguilla. I just really wanted to relax and chill. So Anguilla is the perfect place for that. So we touched down to Anguilla and let's get into it. I just want to explore for a living. Literally, I want to go everywhere in the world. <laughs> okay, so first things first, we had to hit up uh, the Four Seasons and get some breakfast. This hotel is jaw dropping. Um, was gonna stay here, but then it's decided to just stay in St. Barth. It's not that far. You can travel there, stay here and travel there, vice versa. Everything is super close. But yeah, just wanted to get some quick breakfast um, here. And I love that they also had some like local food as well, like Johnny Cakes, plantains and all that stuff. I didn't tap into it. I wish I did. I don't know why I, I just got classic breakfast. Like looking at this makes me so sad. <laughs> but look at this view, y'all. Like what? This is why we came to the Four Seasons because the architecture is absolutely gorgeous. This actually was the Viceroy Hotel um, prior to it being the Four Seasons. And I mean, like, just stunning. Like, lots of great places to lounge and chill. And I saw this on TikTok. This in the sunset time is gorgeous. So for our first stop in Anguilla, we had to hit Four Seasons. This hotel is absolutely gorgeous. Had a little brunch, and now we're at the Sunset Lounge. Let's get into it. I mean, the views are giddy. Look at those beaches, like look at the sand. It's so clear. It's absolutely drop dead, gorgeous. There's a lot of cute little places to like hang out, catch a view. This right here is also part of the hotel. I love how they have like a little stairway to walk down into the water directly. I just think that that's such a vibe. 100% will be staying here at some point in the future. I think that just going here for a day wasn't enough. The fact that I couldn't sit here and enjoy and watch the sunset, I'm like, no, I literally had to turn back around kind of fairly quickly. But I hope this is informative for y'all to see, you know, if you guys would want to stay there. Um, so now we're also headed to Cap Jaluca, which is another hotel that's on the island. Very like Spanish style, very cute, great for like large parties and like families. Um, they have these little golf carts that take you around and there's this little um, beach like shack situation where we're pulling up to right now. So for the second adventure in Anguilla, we are at Cap Shack Jaluca. Let's get into the views and the vibes. Honestly, probably some of the most beautiful water I've ever seen. Like, 
Let's get into the cap shack, y'all. I really think that this property has so many amazing amenities, including the cap shack. There is like a little restaurant here, a um, nice place to lounge by the beach. And when I tell you, like, it's literally like a shack, super calm, super lax vibes and like lots of cute places. I think this is a great place for families as well. I did see a lot of families come in later. This is where the food comes from. And there's like little loungy areas, super cute. This hotel also had some crazy amenities, like a tennis court, a basketball court, like all that stuff. And um, the Cap Shack had great drinks and really yummy, like simple food. Probably the best pina colada I had my entire um, vacation. And then I got a jerk chicken wrap and some french fries, super simple. And literally just laid out for like five hours. This is exactly what I needed. And I don't think there's anything better than just laying and listening to this. I mean, talk about washing your worries away. Like this was the perfect day to just chill and catch a vibe. I will definitely be back to Anguilla for sure to see what the island has to offer. But I hope this was informative for y'all. And if you end up staying here, let me know down below in the comments. All right, y'all, as you can see, we did a very light day hanging out um, in Anguilla. The views and the vibes are stunning. Now we're about to take a helicopter back to St. Bart's and then we're gonna have dinner reservations. Um, so yeah, as you can see, very chill, lax vibes. See you there. I did hear that Anguilla is like the perfect place to literally relax and chill. Like their excursions are like Iguana Island and like swimming and snorkeling, literally like super basic, nothing extreme at all. Um, so I definitely will be back and tap into that. I saw a lot of little different islands as well in the helicopter that were like boats docked there. So it might be cute places to swim. But now we're pulling back up to St. Bart's and I definitely recommend if you guys want to get on a helicopter to fly with West Indy helicopters. Um, literally, this isn't even a paid ad. I'm just saying like I felt super safe. It was super convenient, super easy. And I mean, how else are you going to get that bird's eye view of the islands? Like you need to get on that heli. Anyways, touchdown back in St. Bart's. All right, y'all. So now that we tapped into our cute little day trip to Anguilla, we are going to be focusing on St. Bars for the rest of the vlog, which is so exciting for me. And I hope it's exciting for y'all, too. I love that St. Bars just had a bunch of like farm animals everywhere, like chickens, goats. Like I'm totally here for it. So we touched back to the 20 and we're just hanging out, catching the sunset. Um, by the pool and when I tell you the Le Twinies fries are so good like I had a whole bowl before dinner watching the view so I mean a win is a win <laughs> I also love um, that they have an open French kitchen I don't think I tapped into that in the first vlog so we had a very chill and lax beach day in Anguilla and just got back to St. Bart's chilled a little bit hung out by the pool and now we're going to go to dinner um I'm super excited about the place. It looks super cute. Like the vibe is giving. I can't wait to take pics. I got a cute fit on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. All right, y'all. So we're at the Tamarin for dinner. And this place is such a vibe. Super cute with the lights, super jungly, like such a romantic like day night. Like this is a place you have to pull up for sure. And when I tell you the service was like some of the best service I had the whole entire stay and the food, same exact thing. Like one of the best meals started out with some foie. It came with like a chutney. I'm a little tiny piece of toast, some dill, some pomegranates. The foie was cooked perfectly. Absolutely delicious if you're into that. And then we're going into the mains. We got some ravioli bomb, like 10 out of 10, some truffle risotto with scallops. When I tell you this meal was hitting, I got the surf and turf and the chicken. I'm salivating. You can't pull up to St. Bart's and not eat here. When I tell you, you have to. Just like that, it's the next day. And when I say the main reason I love staying on this part of the island was because of like the nature. And I'm gonna play this for y'all. Cause listen.
You can't say that you don't want to wake up to that every day. Are you kidding me? Like such a peaceful way to start the day right before having some breakfast. 10 out of 10 experience at the 20, like hands down. Got this cute little milk for the day. I mean, it's definitely giving St. Bart's in this thing. This is adorable. I can't wait to drive it. Okay, so it could be pronounced moke, but I definitely said moke. Either or, vice versa, who knows? Potato, potato. So I'm in my passenger princess era in this little moke. And it's pretty much a vintage car throughout the French West Indies. There's a bunch of them. There's different colors. So cute. And it's just fun way to like explore the island without having to take a taxi everywhere. So if that's something you're into, I definitely recommend it. I love that there's no doors and you can take the top off. So it's great for capturing content and, you know, getting some sun. 10 out of 10 recommend, but I I would say it is a little bit of a rough ride, so I'm just warning you right now. And yeah, so today is like the first real day to really settle into the island. So we had to pull up back to Laguerite. Um, came here on the first part of the vlog just for some drinks, but the food looked really good and it's just turned in here. So got that same delicious cocktail, the Angel's Touch, and then now we're getting into the lunch service. And got some calamari as well as like this arugula salad with artichokes, crushed it. I love a simple salad. And then got some lobster pasta and some pizza, super carby. And got a little bit of some content around the kitchen. I asked the chef if I can walk around and take videos. And he's like, absolutely, please do. And you know me, like this is just my jam. Like if I could do this everywhere in the world, I could um, not be in the kitchen, but you know, just enjoy around it. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't me because they were working really, really hard. I definitely recommend pulling up to Laguerie for some vibes for sure. Um, definitely left before I got a little cray cray because it does get like that in there. And now it's my first time driving the Moke. I'm not the best at this, y'all, but I'm glad that I did it. It was super cute. So now we are in Gustavia, which is like the town and like super busy little area. Lots of shopping is happening here. A lot of restaurants, a lot of like luxury designer and stuff and browsing, which is why we're here to like walk around, browse, do a little of that stuff, you know, catch some sun, stroll around. And when I say it looks really small, like this street, you couldn't like, it seems tiny and small, but it's long. And there's so many different shops, like so many. It's like deep in there. And on the opposite side is the harbors. You can walk around, check out the boats. It's giving I need a beach house here, period. Then headed over to Nikki Beach for one drink before going to Saline Beach. So this is one of the many beautiful beaches in St. Bart's. This is Saline Beach. Private. And I would spend any morning here, no problem. That's probably what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay, Saline Beach is such a vibe. I didn't get a chance to come back here, but I 100% recommend if you guys are ever in St. Bart's, like, please come back here. I wish I, I wish I like spent a little bit more time here, but I did get a chance to come here because you know everything closes at a certain time. You know, it's like super Euro vibes. But the beach is just drop dead gorgeous. The water's not even like super cold. Perfect place to like catch some sun and like, you know, maybe bring a bottle of vino and relax, super secluded, little date, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so now I'm back pushing this moak like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> when I tell you, I am thoroughly enjoying St. Bart's. You know, getting to explore, I definitely recommend renting a car and seeing what the island's all about. You know what I mean? Like, it's just such a nice, calm, like, culture, like, super relaxed vibes in St. Bart's, which I enjoy. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I think I know what I'm doing with this car. Just watch me for a second. Literally, it's straight, like, Amazon, greenery, all the beautiful vibes. Ah! <laughs> I miss pushing a band, okay? Not like this. Anyways, so it's kind of hard for me to, Bruh, like what? Uh-uh. I'm telling you, if you do get one of those, 
lord the way that i was driving anyways we're back at the latourney and we're doing like the beach club dinner it's literally right there you take a shuttle down and it's so cute when i tell you the food here is delicious some of the best food i had on the in in the entire trip and then the 111 it just tripped me out that's like one of my angel numbers anyways let's get into this cob salad and this like shrimp situation and then the octo the shrimp was hitting the octo was hitting the salad was hitting everything was hitting this is the best bavette stick i've ever had like super simple but like done so well i'm salivating talking about it um and also there's a fire show down here as well for dinner um so the ambiance is chill a lot of people that are not staying on the island come here for this um event as well but you know super cute like i feel like this is something that you would do like with like an older crowd you know what i mean this is like the most st bart's gets turned and that's what i mean by like it's such a relaxing beach culture unless you're like doing like house parties boat parties things like that like going to like little clubs here and there but when i tell you there's not really like much of like young intern activities which is good you know but this crab was all about me like there's a lot of sand crabs there just fyi and they gonna get you Anyways, let's get into the next day. I can't believe it. We're already here. Okay, so you know we're doing breakfast at the hotel. I mean, I feel like that's just been the theme of this entire vlog. Breakfast at the hotel. I mean, how could you not? Look at the vibes. Soaking up the sun. It's gorgeous. I mean, why not? Okay, so green juice and mimosa is giving balance. Uh, croissants and spinach is giving balance. And I got the bikini on. <laughs> and the sun is shining. So that means it's gonna be a great day because the boat is pulling up. It's a beautiful day to get on the water. I mean, it's so extra blue today. Day six, we're gonna do a boat day in St. Bart. It looks like the perfect day to do it, so I'm really happy decided to do it on day six. Let's get into it. Okay, so I don't even think it's possible to come to St. Bart's and not get on the water and explore, like, and do a little boat day. Um, so I'm touring with Blue Escape. Um, Latoyne referred us to him, and when I tell you, he was fantastic. Shout out to Latoyne for the plug and helping us put together this last minute itinerary. But like I said, you can't come to St. Bart's and not get on the water. Look at all these boats out here, it's just a lifestyle. Also, St. Bart's is also known for like these mega yachts in the water, like insane yachts. Like, are you kidding? This isn't even all of the ones that I've seen, but I've seen some sick ones. This one had a helicopter on it. Um, yeah, definitely a vibe. And look at this little kid. She was a little kid sailing by herself. Like there was so many kids sailing by themselves. I aim to be as free as those kids one day. Anyways, so not only are we touring and um, looking different parts of the island on the boat, um, I'm also going to be snorkeling and getting in the water and seeing some turtles, which is what I'm zooming into right now. Really, really big turtles. Um, not as big as the ones that I've seen in Hawaii, but like fairly huge. And when I say this was our tour guide, he was fantastic. I definitely recommend touring. Um, with Blue Escape, if you guys ever come out here, the water was so clear, so fresh. I mean, so hospitable, lots of champagne, snacks if you need it, like... 10 out of 10 and he he's from here so i mean like he gave us the inside scoop he gave us the tea you know that's what we need and when i tell you i love swimming and getting in the water but i wasn't gonna do it by myself he was so kind <laughs> i was like please get in the water with me sir he was like yeah let's do it so we just had a good time um and it's fairly safe like super shallow area just turtles i didn't really see much other than that um in this area like a few fishes but nothing too crazy got to swim around here for i want to say maybe like enjoyed this area for maybe like an hour um i didn't put the fins on which is why i have my floaties because i was just like sometimes the fins ugh, they get on my nerves but this was cool when i tell you the water was just so clean and crisp it wasn't even cold like sometimes you get in the water and it's freezing but there was lots of turtles i didn't Get to bring my underwater camera this time or my iphone case which really bummed me out but i wish i could have showed y'all how clear the water was like what are you kidding me and not only did we go here to snorkel and get in the water but we went to a few other um beach areas that i'll tap into and show you 
But yeah, like I said, like lots of turtles here, super cute, and definitely recommend touring with Blue Escape. And the tour was like six hours, so we had a lot of time to like relax on the boat um, and just enjoy, like such a vibe. I mean, wow. What a view, what a vibe. So spent an hour like snorkeling in that one area and then got a chance to go to another beach to snorkel. This is um, a more popular beach, it seems like. Lots of kids, those kids I was telling you were like sailing in the water, they um, leave from right here. And it is also, I think, a nude beach. <laughs> Very interesting. A lot of nude beaches in St. Bart's. Um, but yeah, and then from there, went over to like the shore. This is actually where... Um, I went to eat on the first vlog at the Chevelle Blanc. You can see it at the left side, the very end. That's the Chevelle Blanc. That's the hotel. Um, yeah, such a vibe. It's very excluded shore. It's not really like uh, the shore of Gustavia, which is where we're heading right now to go catch a vibe and eat some food. So pretty much like you spend some hours in the water and then you have your lunch break and then um, you kind of just like dock here and then take a little dinghy boat to wherever you want to be right here. This is where everything is. Mickey Beach, this is where um, Eden Rock is, which is where we're going for lunch. Um, and Jean Georges has a restaurant here. This place is really cute too. I feel like it's giving like very like Americanized vibes, very family forward. But I mean, Jean Georges, I don't think you can ever go wrong. Um, I've never had a bad <laughs> Jean Georges meal experience. They had a lot of different um, menus, lots of specials, things like that. Green juice and shots, it's giving balance. And I mean, I need that fan in my summer house. It's so cute. Um, it's so crazy to me how like every restaurant has salt and oil. I think that needs to be a thing throughout everywhere. But started out with the Niçois salad. So freaking good and some truffle pizza. The Niçois was hitting. The pizza was hitting, and then I got a lobster roll and some fries because it's a big back activity. You know the vibes, period. The lobster roll was gas, and the club sandwich was also really good. The meal was like, once again, one of the better meals that I had on the island. Anyways, now we're back on the dinghy, heading back to the boat to explore more of some water. So I got in the water here as well. Didn't really film that. But yeah, enjoyed it. This is like not too far from where we're going to head back to. Um, as you see, this is where all the boats are. And yeah, like such a really calm, beautiful day on the boat. I think my skin is now like the most bronze it could get. <laughs> and yes, boom, next activity. So we're at Bagatelle for dinner. This place is like a more clubby turned up place. Um, like the most it's going to get, I feel like. Um, but the food is actually so good. Got like a carpaccio that had like cured egg yolk. The carpaccio was bussing. I had these little like fried anchovies with the sauce. And when I tell you, people were moving and grooving in there and going crazy. They're like, do you want to sit inside? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> um, got some steak, some truffle agnolotti, delicious. And then also got some like little mashed potatoes, like a palm puree. Um, and then... Yeah, lots of yummy, delicious food here. And I mean, what? How could you go wrong? Came with this like um, truffle sauce. And when I tell you, it was definitely really lit in here. The food and the vibes. This is the place you go when you want to like really catch a vibe and turn up if you want to really go out, out. And then dessert, of course. This was phenomenal. It had like caramel and like cream and like it was just so freaking good. Like if I wasn't so full, I would have definitely smashed the whole thing. 10 out of 10, uh, faux show, definitely pull up to back a towel. What's good, Teacup Gang? It's officially day six in St. Bart's. I'm kind of bittersweet about it, but we're going to make the most of today because we have a free day. And we're gonna start out by going to a local spot for some breakfast. We might hit this hike, this little trail that we've been seeing by our hotel and possibly go down to Saline Beach and enjoy some vibes there and see where the day takes us. So let's get into the tea. All right, y'all, 
so we decided to go to the Christopher for breakfast because the views are absolutely stunning. I mean, absolutely breathtaking, and this is on the opposite side of the island. So it's a cool way to explore, just, you know, what the island has to offer. And just down there is the hotel. So that's exactly where we'll be going. Look at the water. Stunning. Christopher for breakfast today. Clearly there's stunning views and let's see if the food is tea. Oh. It looks beautiful here though. Looks like a chic hotel. Five. Okay, you know I have to get a green juice. <laughs> I love this green juice, by the way, and the garnish was just so cute. So we're at the Hotel Riviera, right by the pool at the Christopher Hotel, and they have a great like breakfast buffet situation, like Bloody Mary situation, build your own yogurt, lots of different like carby things, lots of different proteins, and it's all you can eat. And when I say the view is gorgeous right on the water, I literally mean that. I think everything's just gorgeous. Everything's just stunning. I mean, it's St. Bart's, hello. Um, for breakfast, I had a truffle omelet and some caviar as well as some charcuterie. It's giving a French breakfast, like on baguette. Oh, it was hitting. Like I could eat that like every day for breakfast. It was so good. Once again, I'm salivating. <laughs> but yeah, just hung out for here a little bit and then um, headed back to Le Toigny to do the beach club in the daytime. So they pick you up in a golf cart, you get on the shuttle, and then you check this amazing, sick view out and you go all the way down there. This is where we came for dinner the other night with the fire show. But I mean, I had to do it during the daytime. What? Are you kidding me? What a way to like, just kind of like be present and relax for our last full day. A lot of people can come here too, even if you don't stay here. All right, y'all, so we are at the Chinese Beach Club. We came here the other day for dinner, but obviously the dudes have to be impactful for lunchtime. We're gonna hang out here, have some drinks here, by the pool. And the beach, so. <laughs> okay, so. Super glad that we came here during the daytime. It is such a cute place to relax. Like I said, anybody can come here. You can order lunch here. You can order drinks here. And the drinks were hitting. Obviously, you didn't eat because we just came for breakfast. And then there's a beach. Like, it's full access to a beach. Um, very rocky beach. And the water is extremely cold, just FYI. I mean, look how cute this swing is. Are you kidding? Um, the drinks were actually hitting. And yeah, like, I just felt like... This was the day to just like really just be in St. Bart's and really just like relax and have a calm, cool, collected day and just stay present, which is exactly what I did. And those are the hotel rooms you could see from there. Um, yeah, this is such a beautiful property. Like definitely recommend staying there. Um, and then went to Gypsy, which is my favorite beach club slash lunch the whole time in St. Bart's. I'm so happy I came here tapped in like the whole ambiance and the vibe is just totally me super eclectic so cute like what um right near the beach um and yeah just had a few drinks and some lunch here got into like a little dip some crab cakes the dips are all really good but i just couldn't do the bread so i was like y'all gonna have to bring me some crudite um the drinks were also phenomenal this right here was called a britney spritz and it was hitting i think i had like two of those with the rum Look how cute everything is. When I say it's like eclectic and just my vibe, like funky, cute colors, like I need the plates. I need to figure out how to buy the set of plates with the little evil eye. Um, and yeah, I had a little clam pasta, super light lunch, little dips, nothing crazy. And look at this little bar here, like a vibe. Like I just, if you're gonna do any beach club, definitely you have to pull up here for sure. And the water is perfect, crystal clear great place to like bring your family hang out here i saw a lot of families um here as well as just like couples hanging out which is super cute 
I mean, oh, the eclectic vibe, it's so cute. More drinks, more shots, and more relaxing and just like soaking it all in and almost crying because I saw a little plane leaving and I'm like, oh my God, that's gonna be me tomorrow and I can't. <laughs> I was so sad, but you know, I was just trying to stay, you know, tapped in um, and just soak it all in, you know what I'm saying? So that was Gypsy. Headed back to get more drinks because we're doing it. It's the last night. That rum is bomb. Has some Gougiers, another cocktail. Gougiers were hitting. The 20 really knows what they're doing when it comes to the food. Um, and yeah, so doing Ocean Club for dinner, our last dinner experience. Had to be at Ocean Club. I heard this place was just absolutely like the tea and it's like one of the best restaurants here. Um, so started out with, you know, little bites. Um, these chicken bites were so good. It had like an oatmeal crust on it. Came with a buttermilk ranch, super tender. They were like sous vide. Yeah, I talked to the chef about it and he's like, yeah, he sous vides them and then he buttermilks them and he fries them. Um, lots of little compliments in between. And look at this dish. It's shaped in the island of St. Mark's. What? And then got some octopus um, as well as a chicken ravioli. Everything was tasty, but I feel like I ordered the wrong things. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I hate when I do that. Um, I should have just listened to the recommendations. Got some steak frites, got some like chicken, some corn. Chicken was hitting, by the way. Definitely recommend coming here. The ambiance was great. And just like that, y'all, that was the last full day in St. Bart's. And now, we are tapping into our last morning here at La Twainy and soaking it all in. I hope this vlog has been informative for you in some way, but let's get into our last little moments in St. Bart's. Crazy life, you gotta ground yourself just a little bit. Literally, that being said, um, I mentioned earlier in the vlog that there's like a hike, like a trail right by the 20, and just took our little rental Mini Cooper up there and enjoyed the views and the hike. You gotta like tap into nature a little bit too, you know? That's like my vibe completely. Um, and I recommend, you know, I seen a lot of people, we saw a lot of people like um walking up here from our pool and the hotel so i'm like what is that and people bring their dogs here it's just absolutely beautiful you can go deeper into it but didn't do really extensive hike because we didn't have that much time but yeah i just had to soak it all up there's views from both sides and it's fairly moderately easy like it's not an intense hike if anybody's wondering um just came to get some air do a little exercise get the steps in and embrace it embrace saint bart's this was such a fun trip and such a fun vlog to put together for you all. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I do. All right, y'all. Catch my breath. It's important to say spiritually aligned. You know what I mean? You gotta tap in. Sometimes you gotta tap back out. Tap back in, if that makes sense. But we're on the way to Arwa Cafe for some real local breakfast, finally. We're tired of eating hotel breakfast. I want something good. I mean, <laughs> I wanna just have something different this morning, so we're gonna go to the cafe. And then we're gonna have our last internal present moment. Flights. All right, y'all. So we're finally about to conclude. We're gonna get some breakfast, and then after that, we're gonna kind of just do a little outro. But comment down below if you are planning to do anything that I vlogged in your itinerary. And if you do, don't forget to do a hashtag travel with T and tag me in it because that's super cool. You know, I'd love to see if anybody ended up really tapping into what I tapped into and yeah so headed to Gustavia now and we're gonna get into some breakfast
<laughs> that's where we're gonna go eat breakfast. It seems like to be the only thing that's open on the island right now. So Okay, so this cafe, I'm so glad I finally had different breakfast. I've been eating hotel breakfast. I don't know. I mean, it's been good, but I was excited to eat something different for the last time, if you know what I mean. You know me, fresh juice, always. And this ham and cheese croissant was a bussing. They also had some like ham and cheese pancake situation. Some bacon, some banana pancakes, and some scrambled eggs. What I did was put the scrambled eggs in the croissant, and it was hitting, okay? I hope you guys go there. <laughs> Literally. Uh, that place is open like all the time. And I hope that, you know, you guys are able to tap into that if you guys ever come out here. And then we have to get into our last view. This is the view that's been throughout the vlog the whole time, the Grand Fawn. And I had to get some pics over here. Like, I can't just keep staring at it. And just like that, not just like that, I know this is kind of a long vlog. <laughs> we are done. We are leaving St. Bart's and these humongous iguanas would like to say goodbye to me as well. I thought that was crazy. They literally didn't want to move. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and found it informative in some way. You learned something or you just enjoyed the vibe. Um, yeah, that being said, we are out of here. We are leaving St. Bart's, catching the next four flights and another 20 hour travel. If you like the video, comment down below, give me a thumbs up. I also want to hear down below if, you know, you think that I should travel somewhere else and do a little review or just comment like your favorite places that you travel to. And I am going to be posting all the shorts for all the restaurants to like kind of tap into the food just a little bit more on my YouTube shorts and my IG as well as TikTok. And I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, peace, love, and blessings.